Okay, third one. Tan theta plus cos theta over sine theta equals one over sine theta cos theta. So we've got the concept of tan here. So immediately what I'm thinking about is saying, well, okay, sine theta over cos theta equals tan theta. So I've got everything in sine and cos here. So I'm gonna convert that one to sine over cos. plus this, and then I'm gonna add the fractions together like I did in the previous question. So multiply those together and multiply those together, you get sine squared theta plus cos squared theta all over sine theta cos theta, and that equals one. So you've got, you've got it. And so that works out very, very nicely. And you'll find that this is the same denominator as the previous question. So like the previous questions, it doesn't work for 180n, nor does it work for 180n minus 90 degrees, taking out the cos one. So there, the denominator would equal zero. You get asymptotics undefined. Last one. 1 over 1 plus sine theta plus 1 over 1 minus sine theta equals or is identical to 2 over cos squared theta. This looks like it's going to be a bit more of a fun challenge. But again, what I'm going to do is I'm seeing this, I'm seeing a difference of squares. Am I? Yeah, I kind of am, aren't I? Let's multiply this together. Let's put it over to one fraction because I can see something happening here and I can see I'm going to get one minus sine squared theta at the bottom, which is cos squared theta. So yeah, that's how it works. I've gone too fast. I'll slow down. You've got a fraction to so solve it. Okay, multiply these two together and you'll see that if you multiply those two together, you get one times one, which is one. You get sine theta times um, one, which is one sine theta, minus one sine theta. So they cancel out, and so you get minus sine squared theta. So you might want to practice that, multiplying these two out. You'd practice that on the side if you wanted to. But you're multiplying those two out together, you end up with that. And then that times that comes one minus sine theta, plus, and then inside here, that times that, one plus sine theta. And you can see how uh, they cancel out. So you end up with two over, and that can be written as cos squared theta. Now again, undefined when cos squared theta equals zero. And that is where cos theta equals zero. And that's at your 90, your 270, etc., etc. And the way to describe that is 180n minus 90. That's where you can't have the value of theta if it satisfies that. Hope that's helped.